Okay, here's my thrift haul. I don't have my halo lights. So you have to bear with the lighting in here in my living room. Um, so this is my thrift haul. I went to Goodwill and then I went to the the new place. I think it's new. It's new to me. Upscale. No, Uptown. Uptown Cheapskate. It's a big, huge, beautiful consignment. I guess you can call it really a thrift store, but it's way nicer, newer, all kind of name brand, nice stuff. Jordans, Nikes, Air Forces, um, uh, all kind of Air Mac, all kind of Nike stuff, all kind of name brand, all kind of Adidas, all kind of any kind of name brand you can find. Michael Kors, uh, which I got some Michael Kors, some K-Space, for real. Um, all those brands, it's every name, some more Tory, Tory Burch, um, all those nice brands. And there was a, get a bag for $25, fill a bag and fill, get a bag and fill it for $25. And it, you can get as many bags as you want. I got two and that's going to make me enough money to just offer those two bags. So one, I've already done a reel on my Instagram. So I'll show that. I'll show the stuff I got from Uptown, um, Cheapskate first. I got these nice, look at these nice boots. These nice surreal boots. Look at them. Surreal, surreal. However you pronounce that. I know they're very expensive and they're very popular. And look at that. They got the sharper, sharper, the little sharper, sharper, whatever. <laughs> you know, me and words just ignore me. But uh, yeah. And then they say it on the back. And yeah, nice. These are nice. I wish they was my size, but they're not my size. They're very small. They're like a size. But they was their regular price was sixty nine ninety nine before it was on clearance. I don't know what the clearance it was, but anything with a clearance stamp like this on it, you could put in the bag and fill the bag. See that stamp there? It was in different colors, but any stamp in any color today, it was a semi annual fill the bag type thing, and it was awesome because they were selling these before the clearance sixty nine and probably after the clearance even more than that. So because I don't even know what the that color was off, but yeah, and these are size. Five, size five. Well, they look like they say six on the shoe, but somebody wrote a five on the marker on the tag. I don't know why they say USA six in the actual shoe, though. I don't know. We'll have to figure that out. I'll just show that it says six, but somebody marked them five. Maybe they run small. Maybe that's what it is. It says a UK size four, USA fat six in there, but then they got a fat big five marked on both shoes and where the size in is. So maybe they really fit a five. I don't know. They're cute. They're cute boots. That was big savings on those. And then these were in this bag. These, uh, I mean, I, I bought these. I put them in the bag. I, they weren't in the bag. I had to search and find stuff that was on clearance that I liked that I knew I could make good money off of. And these Adidas I thought were really cute. I just got to clean them up a little bit. That's the price they were trying to sell them for 50 And I got them in that $25 bag before clearance 50 so it probably was whatever percentage off of the 50 was what it was but still it's a good deal for these cute little adidas legos uh, shoes legos lego adidas and these are size six and a half i don't know if it's six and a half kids or six it's probably six and a half big kids though it's gonna fit a six and a half woman it says us six and a half so yeah i'm sure if a woman is wears size six and a half it will fit her feet so those are very cute yeah because they're the same size as these this is a little bigger than these size six boots so yeah and then got these michael kors because i like how they look because i have two other michael kors flats that have been on my store forever they didn't really say but i said i like these because they have the quilted like chanel like look they have a Chanel look to them, so I know these will sell. These are too cute. Look at these Michael Kors, and they got the gold in the back, too. They in great shape, amazing shape. Look at the soles. Look at the soles. Soul to soul, soul to soul. Back to life. <laughs> I don't even think it was them that sung that. Yeah, it was soul to soul song. It might have been them. But these are size five. They are size, it's what it says on the sticker, size five. But I don't like they're five. They look pretty big being five. What's this shoe say? The shoe says, no, it says five. These are fives. And then I got these Stuart Weitzman's. Stuart Weitzman's. These are like a bronze color. They're bronze. I don't know if they look bronze to y'all, but they're like bronze. Cute. I don't know if they're vintage or they're just what they look like, but I think they're cute and they're in 
excellent condition. Excellent condition. Look at those soles. Look at the heels. Look at the soles. Look at the heels. Excellent con condition. The regular price they were selling those for $49.99 before the clearance price, but I did better, like you said, than the clearance. And I'm saving the best thing that I got last, but it was in this bag. It was, they didn't, the box, it wasn't in the box. They don't count the boxes if the boxes are behind the counter, but they count the other shoe. You have to be able to fit both shoes in the bag if they only have one shoe out there and the other shoes behind the counter. I was glad they didn't count the box, but I would have made it fit in that with the box too. I would have found a way. It would have fit in that deck on bag. And this is the second bag that I got from Uptown Keepscape. And this is clothing. And I wasn't going to get any clothing. So I saw my sister's friend, Tarika, in there. I saw her in the video. And she was like, you need to go back. So I was like 25 minutes late to the comedy show. But I seen the main, some of the opening act, and then I seen the whole maiden guy. And I had a good time at the comedy show. It was funny. But fooling with Tarika, fooling with her, talking about, you better go get some of them leggings, people gonna buy them, get you some, get some of them leggings, you can make money, I, they got Lululemon, she used to talk about how she racked up on Lululemon, I said, well, she must have took all the clearance price Lululemon, because without, lemon, because every time I found some Lululemon, every time I saw some, they was regular price, I never got lucky to find them on clearance, I was like, man, that ain't right, she done took all the clearance, tell me, go look, so I just bought what I could, but I, I did find this nice extra large polo shirt. So my son can fit that. That was a good deal. Long sleeve collar shirt. And then I got these Adidas pants. Look at these Adidas pants, y'all. Look at them. They got the Adidas on the bottom of the leg. And then the three stripes on the three stripes right here. And they look real good on the inside. Real good on the inside. We good. And these are, I don't know what size they are. Large or extra large, I think. Says, okay, where's the size inside the daggone pants now? Come on, man. Oh, right here. Right here. U.S. large. These are large women's. Large women's nice pants. They're going on posh. I could keep them for myself, but I really don't need them. So these are like, I guess, climate control. Climate control pants. You can wear them in the wintertime and when you walk in or exercise in the sun. And I got these Adidas. I probably will keep the leggings for myself for when I start walking again in spring. So, because these, I think, fit me. I think these are medium. Yeah, these are medium. So they should fit me, medium and leggings, but I might need a large. So they might not fit me, so they might be on posh. You never know. But there is some cute Adidas leggings. Climate, it says climate, climalite, climalite, climalite. Like, I guess they're supposed to be like climate control too. I don't know if that said climalite. Then I got a whole bunch of other leggings to be on posh. To sell on posh. These, uh, these are pure barrack. Pure Bar, I guess you call them Pure Bar, eh? plus Emily HSU Designs, Emily HSU Designs .com. Um, It says the, these are called the water, watercolor type. And these are extra smalls, regular price $72 is what it says on that tag. Look at that. It says $72. I don't know if y'all saw that. It's kind of blurry. But the store price was $34.99. But I didn't get to pay that because I put it in the bag. So even though I didn't find Lululemon, I found some good stuff. And these are extra smalls. For those extra small people that just like to wear their little leggings all the time. Be cute with a little t-shirt or something. Look at these. Aren't these some cute little leggings? These are cute. And your little kids can wear them too. Kids can wear the extra smalls. Be cute in their little leggings. They little t-shirts. $110 regular price on these. And this brand is... N-U-X. Yeah, N-U-X. I don't know if you can see it here. It's like a shadow net. You see it, N-U-X. And it's new with tags. These are, I got a lot of new with tags leggings. I said, ooh, that, that's a good deal right there because those will sell good. Ooh, these are reversible. These are reversible. So you're getting two pair of leggings in one. Okay. Okay. 
And good deal, good deal, good deal. And I got another pair just like it, two pair. I think they're both the same size, extra small. Yep, yep, extra smalls. See, that fit them little kids perfectly. Little eight year old, seven year old, 10 year old, probably 10 year old. That fit them perfectly. The little stick kids, like I was, a little stick kid. And there's some more. And I got a lot of extra small. They had a lot of the good deals and extra small. And these were regular $90. And these are uh, Dias, what is it? Dias Sport, Dia Sport, DYI Sport. Regular $90 was priced there at $34.99 before clearance. And then I, like I said, got the bag. Yeah, DYI Sport. And I got another one just like it. I got three of these. <laughs> I got all three of them. Why not? Shoot. I think they all were the same size. This is a small. Was that other one? Was this other one an extra small? Because that this second one's a small. Yeah, this one's an extra small. This is a small, so I got two different sizes. And it maybe three. Hopefully three, maybe. But I think this is probably a small. Let's see. It's probably an extra small. Oh, this one doesn't still have the tag on it, though. I thought this one still had the tag on it, too, but it don't. Darn it. And it don't have the size, neither. Gotta have the size somewhere. Come on, now. Don't you get... Oh, right here. What size is this one? Small. This is a small. But the tag must have came off of this one. This still new. It ain't been worn. It has not been worn at all, so it's still new. Just no tag on it. Darn it. I'll just put like new because it's new. It's really new without tag. This is a Nike, some Nike pants, and these are size, size are these, mediums. These are mediums, just some Nike. See these with the little swirls in them? Isn't that cool, the little swirls? And got a zipper for you to put stuff in on the back, a little pocket. Got you a little pocket while you're going for your walk, while you're riding your bike. Drift, dry fit. These are dry fits. While you're riding your bike and stuff. My Poshmark's going to be lit once I get this stuff up. Try to get it up. I'm trying to get it up this week. Look at these Nike leggings. Look at these here. Ain't these cute? Ain't these cute? Ain't these cute? These is cute, y'all. These are cute. And these is dry fit. And these are size medium as well. And they got the just do it. And on the inside, just do it. These are really cute. I'm probably going to keep some of these. They fit me, but I think I need larges. So I don't think I'm going to be lucky enough to keep the mediums. They didn't have the cute stuff in the larges. But I might be able to wear the mediums and leggings, man. I, might, I mean, I might be able to wear, get away with the mediums and the leggings. We might have to. Let me pull my little shirt down. I've done this whole video with my shirt all up. Love the mercy. It's just a shirt, though. I got leggings on now. Anyway. And here's some more Nike draft fits. Look at the design on these. Ain't that cute? Ain't that cute? And they got a little reflector on the back of them. Is it the back or is it? Yes, yeah, the back. And they also have book strings for you. Nike running. Nike running leggings. Draft fit. Size medium. So these are medium. So I did pretty good. These are nice, 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 cute. I like all the, those leggings. I realized I forgot to show these. I was saving them for last for the two bags that I got. The two bags for $25 each. This was one of the bags. Now, the box didn't count to fit in the bag. All you had to do was fit the shoes in the bag because the shoes was on the shelf. So, since the shoes fit in the bag, I got these in one of my $25 bags. These Kate Space came in the box. That's what's so neat about it. Look at them. Looking brand new like they wasn't even warm. They only got like a little, like maybe they walked in the store with them or something. Still got the stickers on the bottom and everything. Still got the, and they like some, I like them because they remind me of like the dad sandals. I guess that's what the style they're supposed to be really, like those dad sandals or those Chanel dad sandals. They have different styles in those, but it kind of remind me. And I like how it has the straw. I just like how it looks. It's different. Look at that. It's really, I think they're really cool. It's like a scuba material that brown is. 
and these are my size nine and a half so if they fit me perfectly i'm keeping these for myself yes i can't wait to rock these in the spring summertime more some more like summer but i can't wait to rock these kate spades i love them but if they don't fit me they'll be on posh but uh, nine and a half, i ain't tried them on so i don't really know about some i'm a nine and a half ten matter of fact let me try them on right now to get all suspicion out the way Mm -mm. Okay, okay, they fit perfectly. Oh, they, let me see if I stand up. Yeah, they fit. Makes me extra tall though. <laughs> they make me extra tall, but, but they fit. <laughs> so yeah, that was the, the best find that I was trying to save for less and forgot all about it as I did the video. So I had to add this clip. So. These are great, and these are mine, 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 mine. And these Kate Spade sandals were the biggest part of the savings because the price they were selling these for originally before they put them on clearance, the price they were selling for at, the, at Uptown Cheapskate was $119, I think. Let me get the price tag out so y'all can see, yeah. That was the price they were selling it before, before it went on clearance, $119.99. I don't know what the clearance price was because I didn't see how much each stamp, what the color stamp was for the percentage. But all I know, the original price they were selling it for, Uptown Cheapskate, was one nineteen ninety nine, and I got this in a twenty five dollar bag. So that's why how I saved over five hundred and something dollars from their regular prices at Cheapskate. That I mean, that was one of the big things. And those Sorrel boots was the one of the big things because that regular price on those boots was like sixty two dollars. The, the Upskate price was the Uptown Cheapskate price. I keep messing the name of that store up. And then we're going to look at the Goodwill items. Let's go on and get into the Goodwill items. But well, I got some Goodwill. Look, I got some steals. And I was on there talking about, ooh, I can't stand the Goodwill. It ain't this and that. It was, this is separate from the from the video of me actually thrifting that y'all see before. I, I'll put that video up before this one. But y'all saw that I was like, oh, I can't stand the Goodwill because I hadn't been at that Goodwill for a long time because it stopped having stuff. Like everything good was behind the counter. But now they're slipping again. I'm catching them slipping. Look at these nice coach leather boots soles is fine they just been worn but they are look at how good the leather is on them look how awesome and they got the little zipper right there but they ain't my size unfortunately unfortunately because if they was my size i would definitely be keeping these coach boots definitely these coach boots is dope 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 i saw them i said hold up these boots is somebody somebody they 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 special Goodwill slipping, because Goodwill will never be slipping. I saw them C's on the zipper. See, you know them little C's, the four C's. I saw those C's on the zipper. I said, I think he's his coach. This got to be coach. What else could it be? And I looked up and at the bottom, and it said coach. Right there on the bottom. I don't know if y'all can see it, but yeah. So, it said coach. It's probably blurry. But yeah. So I said, well, I am not playing. I'm definitely getting these. But what size are they? Because they could be my size, but I don't think they are. I think they're too small. I think they're definitely too small. The leather still looks good on the inside. Really good on the inside. Y'all can't see, really see that. But it's like a light tan color on the inside. So that's not even peeling. I'm trying to see if it has the size up, up top. Usually it would have the size somewhere up top. It's the size on the bottom. Oh, size seven. There's seven Bs. Seven Bs. So there's size seven. I knew they weren't my size. How could I get that lucky? It's all right. Because what I'm going to show y'all at the end is my size. And I'm keeping them. I wish I stopped leaning forward. Because I'm cutting my head off. But y'all don't care about my head. Y'all care about the stuff. Y'all ain't studying me. Y'all studying this stuff. These little cute Michael Core boots. Look at these little cute. Look at them. Aren't those cute? Cute little Michael Kors boots. Cute, cute, cute. Just got to wipe the bottom off and it'll be good. Cute. I don't know if they're suede. If they're, they could be faux suede. kind of feels like faux suede, but I don't know. Could, it says all man-made materials. Chocolate brown. Size 2, I think. U.S. size 2 for kids. Cute little kid boots now. Euro 33. I don't know how these are sassed. I guess they are sassed two kids. 
see. And they're Michael, Michael Kors. Cute little kid boots. Yeah, they're Euro 33 in it. Is that a 7 or a 2? Definitely not a 7. They're too little to be a 7. These are size 2. Cute. You can set the MK on the on the zipper and on this little button here. And all, of course, are all around the top. MK, MK, MK. Cute for your little girl now. Or the little foot woman. Very little foot woman. I got two of these Tom Ford cases. They were only 99 cents. That's a good buddy that can be made off of these uh, Tom Ford cases. Uh oh, this one's does isn't it? What if some, what if I find some glasses in them? I don't think they had nothing in them though. But what if I got lucky, y'all? No, not that one. This one just felt kind of heavy. I think it's just a heavy case. No, no luck. <laughs> that would have been nice if I found some Tom Ford sunglasses or glasses off in there. And. These cute Calvin Klein jeans, which are in my size, so I cannot wait to wear these. I'm keeping these for myself. Yes, I am. But I wonder why I look. <laughs> the, the Calvin Klein is upside down. Calvin Klein jeans. The, that tag is probably why it was in, and they took it to the Goodwill, because the tag was upside down. I don't care. I'll wear it right with the tag upside down. They different. They different. Irregular. It's probably, they probably was for at Ross or something. But this tag is, is correct. So I don't care about this one being upside down. Because these jeans is cute. They got little tears and stuff. And I like it. I like these jeans. You can wear them by yourself or wear them with some leggings and be cute, cute. Yes, I did get them. Shorts was $4.99 each. Shoes was $4.99. Shorts $4.99. Shoes $4.99. So I got all them shoes for $4.99 and boots and shoes. This was $4.99 too for this. I gotta wash this jacket, but I love this color. It's like one of my favorite colors. It's bright neon yellowish, greenish, yellow, lime greenish, whatever. But it's a cute Tommy Hilfiger jacket, $4.99. I got it for. And then it just needs to be washed. And you got the Tommy Hilfiger on the collar. Hilfiger, look. Got a hood and everything. I don't know if the hood comes off and you know, I don't. Here's some Velcro. I don't know what that's for. Maybe to fold it up and attach the Velcro. I don't know. It got a, it's a Velcro on it. Oh, it's to, yeah, tuck it in. You can tuck it under the collar if you don't want the hood out. Because the collar has Velcro, too. Okay, that's what it is. Nice little Tommy Hill figure. I guess you would call it a windbreaker. Just needs to be washed. And I'm going to wash it. It's extra large. I figure it'll be good to wear. If it looks too big on me, then I'll give it away or sell it. Probably sell it because I'm trying to make some money. I'm trying to finally get my Poshmark up and doing good. Running, running, running. You're doing better like it used to do. So I got distracted. Then I got these. I saw these on the shelf. I'm like, now these look like some bass. Back in the day, bass shoes. Y'all remember bass? B-A-S-S? -S? They still make shoes. But back in the day, that was it. Those was the shoes in the 90s. People was wearing them. To, yeah, people was wearing the bass, y'all. People that had money was wearing the bass because I was wearing the Eastlands. <laughs> wearing the coasters i was wearing the coasters and the eastlands from payless that's what we was doing <laughs> then, not the eastlands the eastlands no i was wearing the coasters first then when we got older we was able to get the eastlands from payless but when we was kids we got the coasters i mean the eastlands from other shoe stores not payless eastlands was from the eastlands wasn't cheap eastlands were not cheap eastlands still ain't cheap today because they still have eastlands but now, the coasters from Payless when we was kids. But when we was teenagers, we could get the Eastlands. That's what it was. But we didn't have no bass. We didn't get no bass. Because bass was way more expensive than Eastlands back then. Now they about the same price. But these are some suede. Look at the color, though. Look at this blue. Ain't that cute? And that was only $4.99. Regular shoe price. Wasn't marked up. And these are like heavy, cute little shoes. Your little preppy son or daughter preppy son or daughter because this color is unisex that's a unisex color cute 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 they would be on my posh uh these are size uh seven and a half and i gotta look up whether it's men's or women's but i think it's women's seven and a half so it'd be like a men's five and a half i don't know if, so it have to be for your little boy with a little foot for a man but a woman can wear those if they're a seven and a half woman 
which I'll measure them before I put them on my posh to make sure. And I got these uh, Michael Kors swimming trunks, four ninety nine. They just counted them as shorts. They didn't even mark them up. I said, Michael Kors, and y'all didn't mark these up? Extra large swimming trunks. Or bas basketball shorts, whatever you want to call them. I think they're swimming trunks. Great shape. The person could not have worn them at all. Then I got some leather gloves. Nice leather thinsulate. Thinsulate, that's the name of the brand. Thermal insulation gloves. Nice gloves. So these gloves is good for men. Men's gloves. Um, what size are they? They are a size large. So I was going to see if my son's hand can fit these. If he can't, then I probably, they're going to be on my posh, y'all. I don't know. He's got long fingers like me. Plus, he's tall, so he, he has a reason to be having long fingers. I got long fingers for no reason. I ain't six foot nothing. Then I got these Gianni beanies because I thought they were really, really cute. So I thought I could make a little something, something off of them. They're suede, too. So that's why I got them because they are suede. They're not full suede. So I figured I can make some money off of these. And these are size eight and a half, eight and a half M, medium, eight and a half medium. Very cute. It says leather upper. So that's why I was like, oh, these are suede. Okay, let me get these Gianni beanies then. So they'll be on there. Maroon is the color, same color as my shirt. They match my shirt. But they ain't my size, luckily. Luckily, they ain't, because I need to stop. I don't need what these are. <laughs> but these are. But these are my size. And they are cute. They mad. These is mad, y'all. These is mad, mad, oh, man. Look at them, y'all. Look at these suede boots. And they are suede, not full suede. These are suede. I just got to clean that little mud off of them. Whoever warm got a little mud on them, but they still look probably warm one time. Because that's still like mud and just a little scratches. They don't wear them shoes one time. These are, and let me tell you what they are. They guess. Yeah, can y'all guess what they are? They guess. <laughs> but yeah, they're guess, but they are cute. I said, oh, these are cute. Guess, suede, boo. Oh, yeah. I'm going to rock these. These were the one with this outfit I got today. I got my combat boots on today. But this would have went with this, with these leggings and this shirt. Would have went perfectly, but not with my, not with the silver jewelry. I had to change out with some gold jewelry. But yeah, I love these. These are mine because these are size, and they were only four ninety nine. They're nine and a half, so I'm a nine and a half ten. So these should fit me. But if they're too small, they're going on my posh. But I should be good. I usually can get the nine and a half, but sometimes nine and a half might be tight. So. Y'all might look up if the nine and a half is tight because these is gas, but these is adorable. These are cute. Look like an old back in the old British days. That'd be cute with a peacoat. These boots with a peacoat or a trench coat. Peacoat, trench coat. I got this cute red trench. They got black trimming and stuff. That red trench. Y'all probably seen me wear it before. But yeah, not on this channel, but. On my, if you watch my Instagram, which is La La Be So Random on Instagram, follow me, follow me, follow me. I do reels, but yeah. And last but not least from the Goodwill is this diaper bag, really cute diaper bag, really cute and popping diaper bag. These sell for like a hundred some dollars in the stores. Like 120 bucks for this diaper bag in the stores, but I got it at Goodwill. And it is a skip and hop. Skip hop. I don't know if y'all can see that. You can't because it's bent in, but it's skip hop. Skip hop. Yeah, there we go. Nice, perfect. I don't even know if the person even used this. Look at the straps, y'all. Look at the straps. I don't think they use this bag, y'all. And look at the interior. Look at the interior in this bag can y'all see that y'all can see it good enough you can't see it perfectly but this bag does not look like it has been you got a little zip pocket right there got a whole nother little zip thing zip area right here what's this go what's this little area go to and it's clean too it's clean too it's bad don't even smell 
This bag was not used. Somebody must have had a whole bunch of baby bags and they just sent it back to the stove. But this is a cute, fashionable baby bag. Very cute. Go on, get this bag for y'all baby, for y'all baby cousin, baby niece, baby nephew. I got some baby nieces and nephews. My, I got to contact my nieces first, see if they want it. If not, it's going on the posh. But I'm going to show them this bag, see if they want it, because I got some little baby nieces. So I'm going to contact them. Do you want a diaper bag? They say no. Cool. Contact my other niece. You want a diaper bag for the baby? She say no. Cool. Contact my, my god baby. Mama, my god baby's mama. See if you want a diaper bag for the baby. She say no. Okay, it's going on posh. So we'll see. I got three babies to eliminate first. <laughs> and, and if that one of the baby's mamas want it, then it's not going on posh. But if nobody wants it, it's going on my posh. My posh is Lala B42. Lala, the letter B, and the number 42. That's my posh closet, Poshmark closet. So this is my Goodwill receipt. And I spent $52. So I, I donated. So I really spent 51 something, but I donated this little cents because you know you can charge up to donate, make a donation. So I did the 61 cents. So really I only spent $51, but I donated 61 cents. So $52. And I got all that stuff from the Goodwill. And the two bags were $25 each. So they came up to like $26 after taxes, $26.20 or something. So I paid a little over 50 like 52 dollars for all that stuff i got from upstate uptown from all that for all that stuff i got from uptown cheapskate i paid just a little over 52 dollars for it because it after taxes but without before taxes i paid 50 dollars for that stuff from uptown cheapskate so i did good just a hundred dollars for all this stuff that i got for watching thumbs up subscribe thumbs up subscribe and yeah, yeah, just thank y'all for watching. I made a mess now. I gotta clean it up. Be blessed and be a blessing. And thumbs up the video, please. And subscribe, like I said a hundred times. All right.